So guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video here, and I am here to show you, <clears throat> well, in all honesty, something you've probably never seen before. The soakers behind me. Yes, they can soak. Yes, they do take reduced damage. Or one of them has a special ability. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this. It's going to be some entertainment at its finest. And uh, if you don't mind leaving a like if you're enjoying the content, and if you don't mind subscribing, I got some awesome other stuff you might want to check out. Sorry, that's my last plug. All right, so let's go ahead and check this stuff out. Now, how I'm going to test these for starters is I am using an auto turret. Now, the auto turret is basically going to tell us how much reduced damage do these things take. I am currently in god mode. I'll show you why in a second. And I'm going to show you the... Well, you're never going to be able to find a stupid high-level Akatina, but if for some reason you are able to, check this out. Boop. So he takes 11 damage, yeah, that's all fine and dandy. But, what's really crazy about the Akatina, he's only taking 11 damage per shot. And, as soon as he curls up into a ball, he takes even four, furthermore reduced damage, which is absolutely nuts. Now, you're probably never going to be able to find a, uh, a dino that's able to soak that well, let's just be honest, because, I mean... That, that's insane. You can tame these stoop easy. Now, the obvious negative of this is that, well, they don't have very much health because that's just how it is. This is a stupid high level one and it still only has 26k health. And that's just, <laughs> it's just not enough. It's something that, um, it's kind of nice for the time being because you're like, ooh, this is cool. I kind of like this. But, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really have a value in soaking because it will, you know, that reduced damage is nice. But uh, this is the important part. So you see how it's 27 right there? It goes even further down. When it curls itself into a little ball at 66% of its health, it takes even further reduced damage. Seven. It takes seven damage. Now, this is, <laughs> this is a little more sad. All right. 13 damage per techie shot. Look at that. So... At 13 damage per tech shot, you got to be kidding me. It's something that you wouldn't expect. I mean, an Akatina soaking? That's impossible, right? Uh, not, not so much. Now, while he still is in his little form right here, I'm going to put him in front of these death turrets. And I just want to show you how long this thing lasts. It's not very long. I'm not going to feed him a health thing because then he pops out of his little ball. But look at that takes a highly reduced damage set and he took quite a few rows of bullets isn't that nuts this <laughs> that's just insane to me like you can raid somebody with an akatina well mind you you'd have to have a bunch of akatinas but this guy just soaked a decent sized wall pretty well now that's you know that's just the first on the list just now at this point you're probably like well what can the other ones do now this guy has an even more hilarious trick well, sort of, I suppose you could say. It has to be perfect, but if you line the head of a packy rhino up, he takes stupid reduced damage. You'll notice 59 is full damage. However, if he's looking back at that turret, 7. He takes 7 damage. And this is with a primitive saddle. I bet you with a high level saddle, I could have him taking 1 damage, which is just bonkers in my opinion now the techie um, this is where it gets a little interesting with him because it knocks him back otherwise he would only take 28 damage if you could find a way to keep him in place i mean 28 damage is not bad i mean i'm not going to complain about 28 damage to a tech turret all day that's a heavy 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 damage reduction and i want to get him nice and close to this uh, <laughs> this guy right here 28 damage he takes 28 damage from heavies. Now 231 is normal, and then you see if I move so he's not looking at me, 28 damage is absolutely bonkers for this packy. I just, I mean, y you can't rate this, you can't make it up. It's just, it, it's it's crazy. I mean, rating with a packy, it's, is it possible? Yeah, you're probably going to get shot off, let's be honest, but it is technically possible, and that's where I... That's where I really enjoy it. Could you possibly do this? It's possible, just heavily unlikely. Now, 
he where it uh, did he just poof out of existence? Where'd he go? Is that him way in the middle of the ocean? Oh my goodness. It is. He just like poofed into nowheresville. So, as it turns out, probably not the best for raiding because as you can see, <laughs> um, he gets blasted into no man's land. And that's not good if you're trying to actually do tech raiding. But he could maybe do it for a second or two, which is kind of cool. All right, next up. So, now this one I am excited for because as long as you're not getting shot off, this is stupid. Watch this. Two. He's taking two damage. Now, the one thing is you have to... I mean, this is a stupid high-level helmet. You could switch it out for a slightly lower helmet and he'll take about a little bit more damage. But this is where it hurts him because it does take durability to do this. But let's say you just need a quick mission. It is possible to actually use this guy to get up on a base. I mean, 17, 18 damage, that's insane. And then 18 damage from a heavy, not bad if I may say so myself. Now, mind you, yes, his helmet is going to eventually break, but it's, it, it, I, I mean, it's just one of those things that you, you, got, you, can't, you can't script it because it's impossible. I mean, now, would it be technically possible if you had a lot of helmets lying around? You could maybe raid with one of these things. It just would not be very easy. And obviously, he just got blasted into Oblivionville, um, or at least that helmet did, but he took temporary reduced damage. I'll try and put him nice and close. And wow, blasted into Oblivionville again. As you can see, that is a it's, it's a possibility. It's just those techies just launch these medium-sized tames, which is it's interesting. I would say it's certainly an interesting thing. It's not something that I would choose to, you know, try and raid every day with, but it could be some fun for sure. All right, let's go to another less commonly used one. This is a perfect scenario kind of one. You cannot be looking straight at it head on. You have to be at an angle, so it's hitting his water pouch. If it's hitting his water pouch, this guy takes insanely reduced damage. 11 damage per shot with a primitive saddle. 11, 11 damage a shot. Now, negative side being, you have to be at that angle. I mean, he's taken 45 damage per shot when he's being hit by a, a tech turret. That's pretty impressive. The Morelotops is something that, sh you know, it's it's a perfect scenario kind of thing. It could work out. And again, 46 damage, heavily reduced, and they have a pretty high health stat, which is pretty nice. So it could be possible someday in the future for Morelotops to receive an upgrade because they don't really have a value on Ark. Now, it, it, they do take insane reduced damage. The negative side is, yes, they do have to be at a 45 degree angle, because if they're not at a 45 degree angle... So, this is where it's going to get interesting, because I think he's going to get blasted into Oblivionville. Yep, there he is, blasted into nowhere slill. <laughs> but if you did manage to find a way for him to uh, get close enough to a base where he doesn't get like blasted into nowhere, isn't it? Literally, infinity and beyond. It is possible where you could, theoretically, soak with this thing. Because his back also does soaking. But for now, blast it into Oblivionville because he can't stand the test of time. So, that's that. <clears throat> not, not, I mean, it's fun. If you only got a couple of turrets, it's doable. Techies, eh, probably not. In all, in all honesty, techies probably make it impossible. Roll rat we'll get to in a second here. This is something that's identical to the trike, and a lot of people just forget about him entirely, which is not a good idea on their part. Because, just like the trike, he takes reduced damage to the front. Technically, it's the exact same as the trike. So, he takes reduced damage to the front side of him pretty OP in all actuality because, I mean, if you're taking reduced damage, even from techies, 62 damage versus the 250, that is a huge difference. Just a you know, monster difference. Alright, so, and then if I hop on the back side of this guy here, he's taking 64 from that. It's just some of these teams, people, need, they just forget about them. It's something that people just need to remember because it, they really do take reduced damage. If you want to start a line of these, they're not far off from trikes. I think they're just about equivalent in their total health. And I think they're basically the exact same as a trike. 
Not entirely sure on that, so don't hold me to it, but I'm pretty sure. And as you can see right here, yeah, it's taken a lot of damage. But it did take quite a bit of damage before it died, which is pretty nice. And that's a heavy, heavy wall right there. That's something that's super duper OP. And the Packy Rhinos don't take pushback damage, which is quite nice, obviously. All right, we're going to do one that doesn't have reduced damage. However, this guy has a special talent that people just forget about. If I'm being shot by a turret, as long as you've got an oxygen mask on, check this out. Boom. I'm just going to swim past all of your turrets into your base. Now, as soon as he does hit a wall of some sort, though, he will pop up out of the ground. So if you really wanted, if you wanted to tame a bunch of like low level of these and strap some C4 to them, or strap some C4 to yourself, you could easily suicide on some walls. And that would be a crazy OP way to do it. Or if somebody's not smart enough to uh, totally give you a solid wall, you can swim basically around the outside of these things and into the back of their base. Which, in my opinion, is just stupid, stupid OP. It's just something people don't use very often. And that's why I wanted to let you know about it. All right, and the last guy. The reason I saved this one for last is because, well, in all likelihood, I am not going to survive this adventure on this guy. Because... Well, just to show you, he, or she, whatever this roll rat is technically, um, has a really cool ability. And I cannot have my cheat GCM so I can be nice and close on. Now, this guy takes full damage from turrets if you are not rolling. But, as soon as you're rolling, he takes a little bit less damage than a trike and a packy rhinoceros do. Now, the negative side of this is typically it's a one-way one way roll for you because that happens his saddle does break but if you could find a way to have a saddle that did not break unfortunately my friend i really am sorry you could take on one or two turrets not a whole wall but it takes heavy heavy damage reduction from single or multiple turrets it's just that big wall right there with that uh that techie is just going to blast you into oblivion which is quite unfortunate because, you know, to each their own. But I, I would avoid that. Now, the only reason I'm even going to bring this Rex into this conversation is because they do have a really high health stat. But he will just get blown out of the water. Because he takes full damage from everything. So, yes, that Rex was a very high health Rex. However, you can see that these other ones did take reduced damage, and it's possible to use them in some given scenarios. I can think of a couple for each one, like the uh, the Basilisk. If you were to swim behind somebody's base, that's pretty OP. If you just needed to get in quick to somebody's base and launch yourself using that uh, Gorilla, he could take that damage and get you inside without taking any damage. And there's a bunch of other ways to use the other ones. A snail could be used as cannon fodder if you could somehow find a way to clone or do a whole bunch of them. There's just a lot of different ways to use this technique or these techniques. So anyways, just some different things, different metas. And I'm sure the new metas will change when the new updates come out. But uh, for now, kind of fun little weird creatures to raid with. I guess it's like unused tames for raiding. All right. Hopefully this video was at least entertaining for you. And maybe you got some ideas. If there's anything else that you know of that's a raider, make sure you put it in the comments below. And other than that, teach out.